two iconic pieces of Hollywood memorabilia are back in St. Louis for a short period of time this holiday season. Fox 2's Patrick Clark showing us the red dress and white coat that was worn by Judy Garland in the classic film Meet Me in St. Louis, reunited for the first time in 80 years in Forest Park at the Missouri History Museum. A one of a kind pairing once worn by actress and entertainer Judy Garland are back together for a limited time only. Inside the Missouri History Museum in Forest Park is this collection unique to St. Louis. We're really excited to have the dress and the coat here in the gallery. The first time they've been back together since the movie was filmed in 1944. The 1944 film Meet Me in St. Louis is a beloved tale of St. Louis history in the 1904 World's Fair and the family that may or may not leave Mound City. In trying to convey the size and scope of the original World's Fair from 1904, the museum has a scale model to give you an idea of what fairgoers experienced when they told of the giant Ferris wheel or strolling the pike. She is, you get a sense of just how small she was, right? You hear that about Judy Garland all the time, that she was very short, very petite, but seeing the dress and the coat really drives that home of just how small she was in stature. And the red dress and coat worn by Judy Garland when she sang Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, you can see it for yourself. Made to fit the dimensions of the 4 foot 11 Garland when she wore it in the MGM Classic. The centerpiece of the exhibit is a scale model that shows you all the buildings, all the pathways, everything from the 1904 World's Fair. So, you know, that really helps put into context just how big and how grand the World's Fair was, which is something that they try to talk about in the movie, right, in Meet Me in St. Louis about just what a spectacle the World's Fair was. And it's in the Gateway City only until January 6th. So don't tell me the lights are shining anywhere but there. In the Missouri History Museum in Forest Park, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News. Gonna have to go and check I it guess. out. That's pretty cool.